Hi everyone, my name is Alejandro Duto. This is another ISDC video. Today we're going back to Pompano Beach. We're going to be diving the Lorenz wreck. And as usual, we're going to be presenting you with the dive briefing, the dive itself, and a little bit of the history of the wreck at the end of the video. So sit tight and let's do it. Hello again. As said, we're going to be diving the Lorenz wreck out of uh, Pompano Beach. This refrigerated cargo vessel used to be 435 foot long by 55 foot width. That on the metric system is 130 by 17, give or take. Um, the Lorenz rests nowadays at 200 feet, which is 61 meters. This depth makes the Lorenz an ideal wreck for the Normoxic Trimix diver and the best mix to use on it is uh, 1845. The Lorenz has a particular thing which is that it is located on an east to west manner. Uh, that puts it perpendicular to the currents we usually have in Florida and uh, makes it an ideal wreck to do a hot drop on. Lastly, the Lorenz has 70 feet of relief, giving the diver the possibility of a massive wreck to explore. It's really, really big. One of the highlights of the wreck itself is the engine room, which is very spacious, and uh, you have at least three decks that uh, can be explored on the same dive. So, without further ado, let's hit the water.
Hi, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the dive. Let's talk about the history of the Lorenz. Lorenz was built in 1953 as a refrigerated freighter, as uh, we mentioned previously. It was built in Montreal by the Canadian Beakers Company. The, the first owner was the Flota Gran Colombia, and uh, it, its first name was Ciudad de Cali. Later on, by uh, 1972, it was sold and uh, renamed Rio Amazonas. By 1980, it was sold again and renamed Mason. The new owners wanted to use the ship as a barge, so they raised all of the superstructure. Finally, in 1984, it was uh, prepared to be sunk as an artificial reef. At that point of time, they renamed it Lorenz, given that the Lorenz company, the nautical electronics manufacturer, was providing the funding for these preparations. So once these preparations were done, by uh, March 31st, the Lorenz was sunk and uh, put it to rest where it sits today. Okay, we arrived to the end of another video. If you like it, please give us a thumbs up. Remember to leave your comments and of course, remember to subscribe. This is all for today. Hope to see you soon in our next video.